Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem eight in chapter twenty nine. Chapter twenty nine is about electromagnetic induction and Faraday's law. This is an application about Lenz law. So we can say we look at this system. We have a large coil, right? And the current in we need to determine the direction of the current induced in the small loop inside this larger loop. So first of all, we look at this larger loop, we can see the current is anti-clockwise. Can you determine the current inside this larger loop? Yes, use the right-hand rule, right? So we rotate our four fingers of our right hand just anti-clockwise and then our thumb pointing out, right? So that means inside it's pointing out. And then the outside, we can say it's pointing in. Agree? Now we can say inside pointing out. That means for the part A, the small loop inside this larger loop, the small, ro small loops, the current um, to make it induced is a pointing by right? pointing out. As we talk about the resistor of the the resistance of the resistor is slowly increased. What does that mean? That means the current is slowly decreased. Agree? Okay? Because the current equal to V over R, Ohm's law. The current decreases, making the magn induced magnetic field decrease. Do you agree? Now we can see, look at the smaller loop. And uh, we use the Lenz law to compensate this magnetic field decrease. So that means we need to make the induced current magnetic field in the same direction, right? So pointing out, so you take out your right hand, the sun pointing out, the four fingers just rotate this way, right? So it's counterclockwise. Now we look at the smaller loop. Is out at the outside the larger loop at this position, right? As we talk about the magnetic field is pointing right in, right, and it decreases. We need to compensate that. So we take our right hand and pointing in, and then our magnet, our four fingers will rotate as clockwise, right? This is just a simple application about Lenz law. Thank you.